In this video, I will show you how to set up an account and place an order for citrus budwood from California's Citrus Clonal Protection Program, or CCPP. The United States is losing most of its citrus trees to Huanglong Bing, or HLB, the most deadly known citrus disease. The disease is now spreading in California, making the use of disease-free CCPP budwood critical to the survival of California's citrus trees. By law, all new citrus varieties in California are introduced via the CCPP, whether from outside the state or from within the state. CCPP scientists use proven techniques to eliminate all diseases from each citrus variety before release. The CCPP Budwood program is available for citrus nurseries and hobbyists both inside and outside of California. Around the world, there are many Budwood programs like CCPP. If you live outside of California, click here to learn about other programs. All links mentioned in this video are also in the description below. The CCPP keeps its trees for citrus budwood cutting here in California's Central Valley. The budwood trees are housed in insect-proof screen houses to protect them from disease-spreading insects, including the exotic Asian citrus psyllids that now exist in California and spread the deadly HLB disease. The CCPP has hundreds of citrus varieties to choose from, many wonderful varieties that would never be available in a retail nursery because they are not well known. I have included links below to articles on some of them. Not only is it very important for the survival of our citrus trees that all California nurseries and hobbyists who propagate citrus order their budwood from the CCPP, it is also mandated by law. In order to sign up for a CCPP Citrus Budwood account, compose an email message to ccpp at ucr.edu with subject, New Customer. Enter your name, shipping address, county where you live, phone number, email address, and driver's license number for ID. The ID is requested by the University of California for identity validation and is for internal security use only. Send the email and you will receive a reply within a day or two. The response includes a username and password to be used to log into your CCPP account. You can also email questions to ccpp at ucr.edu. Upon receiving your email, go to the CCPP webpage. Click on Budwood. After reading the Budwood order information, accept the terms and conditions. Click the link to log in and enter the username and password from the email and click the button to log in. Now choose the Screenhouse Budwood Online Order link or the Early Release Budwood Online Order link. For delivery method, choose FedEx, the only choice. The CCPP has a good deal with FedEx. I've found that shipping for a medium-sized box costs only about $10. Next, choose buds of the varieties that you want in multiples of six buds because each bud stick counts as six buds, even if there are more buds on the stick. If you want three bud sticks of a variety, order 18 buds. One bud stick is only $4.50, making it inexpensive to try a citrus variety legally and without the risk of introducing a deadly disease to your neighborhood. The CCPP also offers a variety of rootstocks. Please note that if you order these, you will receive bud sticks and not rootstock plants ready for grafting. It is possible to root citrus cuttings, but that can be challenging as I show in this video. It is much easier to graft to an established rootstock seedling. The CCPP does not offer rootstock seedlings. If you do not already have a citrus tree in your yard, it is important to acquire a disease-free rootstock plant. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to purchase a small number of disease-free rootstock seeds or seedlings. One option is to buy an inexpensive citrus tree at a reputable local store and top work it. When finished selecting varieties, choose Proceed to Order Verification. You can double check the order. If it looks good, click to submit the order. 
All of the orders are processed and shipped at the beginning of the month as shown at the CCPP Budwood cut schedule link below. FedEx will deliver your Budwood order by 10.30 a.m. the next day to most U.S. addresses. When your package arrives, be sure to open up the FedEx documentation pouch. Here you will find the certificate of origin. Be sure to save it to prove that you are using disease-free Budwood to propagate your citrus trees. Be sure to store your Budwood bags in the refrigerator until you are ready to graft. Also keep the leftovers in the refrigerator in case you need to re-graft. They should be good for several months, although their viability will decline over time. To preserve California citrus trees, it is critical that hobbyists only propagate citrus using disease-free budwood and rootstock. It is also important to keep home-grafted trees at home because they are no longer safe to move having been exposed to the open environment. Home-grafted trees should not be given away because moving them can spread deadly disease to a new location. I've written an ebook with tips to help you graft citrus successfully. You can download it for free at fruitmentor.com slash grafting tips. And please enjoy my videos on citrus propagation with disease-free budwood. Thank you.